I low at last I am at my destination place. I was driving from Lyon City, France, all the way to Germany. I think it was my longest trip by car so far, 1100 kilometers. And it actually took about 12 hours with the stops and things. But it was very pleasant and roads were great. Everything was really nice. Now I'm at the hotel which is a, in a German style, really beautiful, outside it looks also very impressive. Tomorrow I'm gonna show you more about this, but now it's time for me to have some rest, need some sleep, it's been a long day. Good morning from Dresden city. I'm staying in Hotel Artushov. It's a really nice hotel in German style. So it's time for a breakfast for me and after we'll be visiting one really cool place. Made it to the best milk shop in the city. Found's Dairy, the most beautiful dairy shop in the world. It confirmed by an entry in the Guinness Book of Records. The interior decoration of the dairy shop, founded by the Found Brothers in 1880, comprises fantastically embellished tile paintings in the style of Neo Renaissance. The hand painted motifs of the walls, floor, shop counter were produced in the art department of Dresden's stoneware factory Villeroy and Bosch. Hello from Dresden. I am at the milk shop, best milk shop in the world right now, trying the best milk. It is really tasty. <laughs> Cheese black plate, and uh, one of these cheeses are really stinky. Can you guess which one? Of course, the most beautiful one made. It smells like hell. <laughs> Let me try it. It tastes good. It's a goat cheese. But it smells horrifying. About the Founds Dairy Shop, you will find the Founds Cafe and Restaurant. Here you will be able to try local dishes and interesting drinks such as milk grappa. I have to say that food here is excellent. The restaurant has a menu in Russian and English. Prices are affordable, not cheap, not expensive, very welcoming stuff, and what is most important, great atmosphere. And this is the famous room shop. Here you will find all type of rooms. But now let's move to the city itself. The resident is about 813 years old and it is capital of the German Free State of Saxony, with around 550,000 inhabitants. It is 12th most populous city in Germany and 4th largest by area after Berlin, Hamburg and Cologne. Major center of culture with great history. Dresden was almost completely destroyed after the Second World War. Also was hidden behind the Iron Curtain for many years. Now the city stands out in most beautiful splendor and ready to show us its beauty and charm. This golden monument in front of the park is Frederick Augustus II. He played a big role in Dresden's history. Apparently from this bridge is a beautiful view, but right now it's on restoration and um, yeah, you cannot really make a beautiful picture so from here. 
so. Let's keep walking and see what's on the other side. Dresden city. Being totally destroyed in 45 by American army. About 25,000 people being killed. It's just official number. And now it's pretty much restored and it's really beautiful around here. But it looks like some buildings are still repairing. There is one thing about the Dresden city. If you didn't visit the Zwinger Palace, then you didn't visit Dresden. Zwinger is a major attraction in Dresden city. Zwinger buildings contains library, art gallery, harmony and much more. The main entrance and one of the landmarks of Dresden is the crown gate, whose gilded symbol of royal authority is worn by Polish eagles. In the niches of crown statues representing the four seasons. And on Mondays museum is closed, but you still can walk around this beautiful palace, which is amazing oh and apparently some wedding is happening over here too even on monday so it's a coffee shop and you can also sit outside here and inside and buy tickets over there too I think we probably need a um, full day to walk all around here because it's really, really big. And this piece of art is named Fountain. Amazing the way it's made. Behind the French pavilion to the right of the staircase can be seen collection of sculptures. The Bath of the Nymphs is one of Permauser's major works. In each of niches, eight delightful nymphs regard artistic fountains, themselves secretly absorbed by satyrs, demons and fish-like monsters. The lively scene around the waterfall symbolizes the sensuality of the Baroque era, which Augustus sculptor Per Moser has so masterfully immortalized. I don't know what to say about this place, this is just so beautiful. No words and no comments I can add. You just have to come and see it yourself. We are searching for one writing on the wall. This is one of the entrances of Swinger Museum. And here we can see what's written in Russian. The museum is checked, here is no mines or bombs inside. Checked everything out, going to eat and to drink something. Ladies and gentlemen, Johan the King.
the beautiful Semper Opera House, been built at last twice, as the first building was destroyed by fire in 1869. In the following year, Richard Wagner came to Dresden as conductor and conducted his first performances of his operas Renzi, Flying Dutchman and Tannhauser. During the air raids in February 1945, the opera has been destroyed again to the rubble, but this time with the rest of the city. It took 40 years before it was rebuilt with the larger original facade. Beautiful Dresden city. Do you see the color of these buildings? If you're gonna ask locals what color are those buildings, they're gonna look at it and say, Hmm, white. And what do you think? Are those buildings white or black? We are at the George Gate. Here we also can watch monumental mosaic The Procession of Princes, made of 25,000 mason porcelain tiles, showing the rules of the House of Wetten that reaches 35 Saxon dukes, princes and kings. The Church of Our Lady was the most important church construction of the Protestantism and symbolized the center of Old Town. This symbol of civil pride is God's house and memorial, the largest stone down north of the Alps, its founder Martin Luther. In February 1945, it collapsed completely, destroyed but perfectly rebuilt thanks to donations. In fact, today church is made for 45% of original pieces. But now let's visit the balcony of Europe, 10 meters above the bank of the river Elbe, and accessed via external staircase from the castle square. This magnificent city has such beauty that it's been described as Venice of the last and Florence of the Elbe. It was a great pleasure to explore this city, but now need to search for some food. I didn't have enough of this city, and in fact here's so much more to explore. Definitely coming back one day. From now this city has a special place in my memory. If you also enjoyed this adventure, then don't forget to like, comment and share. Also click the notification bell to not miss my next videos.